Uh, we, we started on uh, a normal 3,000 calorie diet and basically dwindled it down to about 500 to 600 calories a day by the end of the shoot. And um, it was uh, made for a pretty moody existence, a pretty uncomfortable shoot for most of us. Um, but, you know, we were all in it together and, uh, and we were training every day and there was a great sense of camaraderie and, and, uh, and a bond that was formed between us, which was, I think, essential for what we wanted to put on screen. And uh, we had Ron, the captain of the ship, leading us and, and uh, you know, who better to launch us in the battle than him. We were all prepared to follow it and it was uh, a lot of fun. Bueno, amigos, ahora sí. Just a question. Um, you know, I've always had a, a great um, sense of ambition and, and uh, you know, real need or want to do things in my life that, that challenge me and uh, things that push me out of my comfort zone. Um, but I'm always very sort of self-motivated, I guess, and, and you know, looking to explore. And I've always had a need to see new things and have new experiences. And, um, you know, I think that's what drove me into acting. It was an opportunity to, to travel the world and inhabit all sorts of different characters and, and meet many, many different people from many different walks of life. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure where that came from. I think, you know, probably my, my parents helped um, provide an environment where uh, I had the confidence to want to chase this dream. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm glad I did. I'd be happy with it. Perfecto. La compañera Luisa. You know, I, I love all genres and different characters, and you know, as an audience member myself, but uh, as an actor, I've got to say there was something very special about Rush and, and in the heart of the sea, um, being a part of true stories and, and characters that existed, and, and you felt a, um, a sense of responsibility to do that story and that character justice. There's that almost extra bit of motivation. Um, so, yeah, I did. I'd probably say doing true events, you know, has also taught me more as an actor and forced me to um, take bigger risks um, and work harder. Working with Ron, what I loved from the, you know, the first second I met him and worked with him on Rush was he created an environment to do that and encourage that. And um, he's constantly pushing the envelope and, and, and pushing all of us into the places we didn't think we could go or I thought we wanted to go and experimenting and so on and um, it was nice to come back in this film and pick up where we left off and, and not have to um, you know get to know one another and, and form that relationship we could just get straight down to, to work and the same sort of enthusiasm and passion for the story so it was, it was wonderful to have a, a second opportunity to work with them. thank you Edward. no because that was the very reason that i wanted to make the movie i thought that uh, it's you know it's an ambitious story uh, but I thought uh, modern audiences deserve ambitious movies from us. Uh, and yes, I thought it, it could work as a big screen entertainment that you needed to go to the cinema to see and feel and hear. Uh, and, uh, and the story deserves that. But it also uh, offers uh, some, some very modern themes that are relatable to people all over the world in, in ways that surprised me when I read the script. Uh, also, a great acting opportunity for Chris Hemsworth and the rest of the cast. Human drama uh, about relationships and heart uh, and survival. So this combination of things I thought was unique and very exciting for me as a storyteller. And I'm, I'm eager to be you know, sharing it with audiences. Great. Uh, next character in a movie. And in a movie that is as rich and interesting as this, with the big adventure elements, the, 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 the myth of the whale, this giant whale. I wanted a cinematic experience uh, because the whale, you know, is, is, is almost, um, uh, uh, you know, because of that mythology, but the, but the reality being that, it, that the whale was real. Well, that, that demands, um, you know, a lot of thought and care in terms of the way it's shot, the way it's edited, the way it's designed, but finally, also, what is the music telling us? The subconscious language that we all that we all share. Roki Vinos did a fantastic job of, I think, capturing both the adventure and also the complexities and the emotion of the journey. And I just want to add one more thing about about working with Chris again, which was that uh, because Chris brought me this project and I had seen in Rush, in working with him, that he was challenging that character, asking very creative, interesting questions, 
digging deeper for more texture, more complexity, a very hardworking and intelligent actor, I felt that, uh, that this character, which would be equally challenging, if not more so, uh, would be in great hands. And in a movie that was going to be so difficult with the water and the stunts and the fire and the whale and all of the action uh, and, and, you know, and the emotion, to have somebody with uh, uh, Chris's character as, in the lead was very important to a director. Um, and uh, so it was wonderful for me to get a ch another chance to work with, with Chris. Perfect. Well, um, it was fascinating when we began developing what our whale was going to be. And of course, there are you know, lots of reference photos and videos and films to look at. So, you know, so we, knew, we knew what a, a, a large sperm whale looked like, but the behavior was so important. So we did a number of things. We first looked at what the, the survivors of the Essex had actually written about the attack, which was very specific and intense and shocking. Uh, we also, I also looked at, at the way uh, Herman Melville wrote about the whale in Moby Dick. Now this story was inspired, you know, uh, uh, Moby Dick was inspired by this event, and, but Herman Melville had also been a whaler. On, on several voyages, and he had witnessed whales and their behavior. So his, his, what he wrote was very authentic. Um, and then we started to design the scenes. And this is where the surprise comes. We took all of our ideas and uh, storyboards and animations, and we've, we got uh, a, a group of marine biology, uh, marine mammal specialists uh, to, to come in and look at what we were doing because I didn't want it to be fake. I didn't want it to be some kind of movie monster. I wanted it to be, you know, what it was, a remarkable, you know, real living, breathing character and force of nature. Well, they told us that our ideas were very good, very accurate, but they weren't intense and ferocious enough. <laughs> so as a director, you can imagine my eyes lit up. Uh, uh, somebody from, you know, who really knows is telling us we can push the intensity uh, of, the, of, uh, of the movie even further. That was the biggest surprise that came out of the research. One of the big challenges is finding a place uh, that where you can sort of accommodate with the water tank, so there's not many water tanks around the world. Um, London you know, also has advantageous tax credits um, uh, that, that make it an ideal place to shoot and have great crews and, and studios already in place. So finding a place like London. And then, the Canary Islands, where we shot a lot of stuff on the open seas, where it was uh, also a place that had some, some beneficial tax credits too. Uh, so it was a perfect sort of, you know, storm. And, and we were able to, 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 to get the water tank and, and, and a lot of the stages in London and, and get the open seas uh, with, with, with the look and feel that, that, that fit with the story in the Canary Great. And it increased uh, to It was pretty incredible. Uh, we conditions. I'd never seen anything like it. And, and although I'd always, you know, had known that, you know, whales had been hunted at, at one time for their oil, you, you, you didn't understand what an industry this was and what people did to do this. And, and, and we learned so much, you know, because we were depleting, you know, there's great messages in this movie about all that was wrong with it, too. Um, but, but it was just, you know, it's an incredible story. It's, it, it's a great time, not just with technology, just but because where we are with the planet today, too. And just this character looks at, you know, looks in the eye of this of this animal and, and connects with them, and it's a, it's a beautiful moment. And and you gotta love the scene where where, where Tom Holland is just forced down into the, the whale's head because that's 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 pretty pretty gruesome. But it's a fun it's a fun scene. And, 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 gruesome and and entirely 